Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about how to validate the text message using WebDriver API commands. This is very commonly used step in all the functional test case to validate text message either it's a positive scenario or negative scenario. This step is used widely. These two methods used in validating the text one is to check whether it is displayed or not, another one is get text for comparison purpose. This is a sample test case. Let me explain the requirement in the application. First step, we are going to validate whether this registration title is displayed or not. A positive scenario and a negative scenario is to click on submit button and validate whether star the field is required. This error message is displayed or not. We'll start with the coding. First, we have created a class validating text message, then created a Firefox driver. After that, maximizing the browser, then navigating to the required URL. Once we are done with this, the next step is to validate the registration title. We navigated to the screen. Now we have to inspect this. When you inspect, you didn't get any locators. So obviously we have to go with the XPath. Right click, copy, XPath. Web element title validation, a meaningful variable name, driver dot find elements by dot XPath. We have to give the XPath semicolon. Importing the required files. Next step is to verify the registration title is displayed. If title validation is displayed we have to pass the message title is displayed else title is not displayed in this example it's validating the title registration whether it is displayed or not suppose if this value is changed to register then what will happen definitely the script will pass because it is identifying based on the XPath location. It means even if this text changes, the XPath going to remains the same. The text is not 100% validated. So for text validation alone, we have to compare both the actual and the expected results. How to do it, we'll see now. Validating the actual and expected text string, you know what is an expected text for expected text just inspect so this is the text we have to validate it paste it now we have to get the value during runtime that is known as actual text string actual text equal to you know very well we saved it in the title validation so title validation dot get text semicolon the next step we have to compare the text for that if actual text dot equals third expected text then we have to print output message as actual and expected results are same and the title value is actual text it will print the value else condition we have to say both are not same and also we have to print the actual text and it is always a good practice in the else condition we have to give the maximum details to the users this is a positive scenario we will run it con run firefox is launched navigated to the required url and it is trying to validate the registration title is displayed or not and also it is trying to compare it we'll see the result the title is displayed a normal way of validating the actual and expected results are same the title value is registration if the title changes to register definitely we will get the else condition here this is how we have to validate for the positive scenarios the next step is how to do it for the negative scenario we have to click on submit button inspect it for the name locator the value is pi submit we have to click on submit button for the driver dot find elements by dot name pi submit dot click when you click on submit button you will get the error message inspect this here you can see the value 
but we don't have any locators we have to go with the xpath copy xpath then copy this value also there is no big difference between a positive and negative scenario just we have to rename the variable names first let me declare the name web element name error message equal to driver dot find elements by dot xpath we have to mention the xpath now what you can do is just copy paste the above code and modify it what and all we have to modify it since the variable name is already used we can't use this again what i can say expected error text what is the expected error text star this field is required then actual error text this value it should retrieve the the latest xpath that is name error message dot get text and it should compare actual error text equals to expected error text and you have to return the error message in the output by seeing this itself you can understand even though i say a positive or a negative scenario the code implementation is same only thing is we are going to rename each variable as per our requirement let me execute it is trying to validate positive scenario then it clicks on submit button then validating the negative scenario if we see the results the title is displayed then the actual and expected results are same for the registration title and the actual and expected results are same for the negative scenario that is for error message hope you got some idea how to validate the text that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries in the comment or mail me and don't forget to subscribe to get notification for new video uploads thanks for watching happy learning